Good evening, America. Welcome to Decision Making 2020. My name is Kevin. I'll be your host for this little quick shot. We're still in Facebook jail, so normally I would put a quick little uh, splash up like this on Facebook Live, but Mr. Zuckler's not appreciating any conservative views, so he's kind of got us stifled. You can't say anything at all about left and lamestream media, but they can say anything they want about us. They can call us deplorables, disgusting, names, retarded, uh, prejudice, um, hemophobes. Uh, they got so many words for us that aren't good. When you can't debate your opponent, you have to slander them, okay? And the, the, the conservatives cannot be debated by Satan. He won't, he won't go there. Okay, your left won't go to a conservative in debate. Look what happens when they try to tie into Candace Owens. I've had people attack me on Facebook from spiritual pages saying that because I backed Trump, I was a racist. I called the guy out. Let's go live. Let's do a debate. Let's do one on God's word or let's do one on political views. You're such a godly man and you're a Democrat. Explain to me how you justify killing a thousand black babies a day. He wouldn't go live and he wouldn't debate me. You've got these guys out there, they want to flap their gums, but when they're called out on the rug, they got nothing to hide they nowhere nothing to do but hide. Nothing to say whatsoever. There's a columnist that I had never heard before, and they were talking about how don't worry about grandma dying, the Dow is gonna drop and how old people don't matter. And this black columnist, Andre Perry, said, and I quote, it's funny how when white people are suffering, we find a way to give them a check. Okay, well, 30 years ago, when everybody got laid off 40 years ago in Michigan, I got food stamps and I got assistance for about six months till I got back to work. And, and that check came in the mail. But I know I wasn't the only one getting a welfare check. Those welfare checks have been coming a long time, buddy. Let's not go white people when they're suffering, find a way to get them a check. Are you kidding me? Another one saying, isn't it nice that we got a president that could run the Ku Klux Klan? Eh, hey, stupid. The Ku Klux Klan have been Democrat, always have, always will be. We don't hate black people like you guys do, okay? How you got them shuffled in like Elijah Cummings, I don't know. Where'd the $13.2 billion go from 2018, Elijah? There's not a new swing set in the city. The kids didn't get a stinking nickel of that money. I'm sorry you're gone. I wish we could have investigated you. And he made the statement... Donald Trump will be reelected over my dead body. After that one, I called him a prophet. And Andre Perry, when white people are suffering, we find a way to give them a check. Are you kidding me? I had to back it up and play it like three times. I couldn't believe he had the audacity to say something like that. Okay? So I'm going to get off that. That's just, their racism has run rapid. I'm tired of them referring to Trump as a racist. They're going nuts right now because they can't figure out how to pin this coronavirus on Trump. They'd like to call it the Trump virus so they could get him unelected. I got news for you. There's only one thing on earth worse than the coronavirus, and that's Trump syndrome. When you hate someone so much, you will destroy your own children, your own children's safety, because you hate someone more than you love your children, more than you love your country. Okay, Pelosi just don't stand up there like Bernie and tell you she's a communist, but she is. When she pulled out her package deal, first thing on it was tax breaks for solar panels and for windmills. What does that have to do with the coronavirus? Well, folks, I can tell you it's absolutely nothing. But her son, who is no longer in the Ukraine gas industry with Hunter, is now doing solar panels and windmills. 
He's the largest contractor in California. So he would have benefited from that part of the bill. There was $500 million for illegal aliens, people that are breaking the law being here, that the Democrats all endorse. Hillary Clinton had 25 million illegal aliens voting for her. That's 25 million people committing a felony. And that's okay with her because she's going to beat Donald Trump. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, on the other hand, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. I want to give kudos out to Mr. Mike Lindell. Lindell, the pillow guy from Minnesota. He employs 1,600 people. He has shut down 90% of his pillow making to do face masks. And over the weekend, they've geared up. They were working on it 24 hours a day. This last week, they figured out they were going to put together the top-notch face mask made. They're at uh, 10000 a day right now. They've got their workers all spaced out, eight feet apart, so there's a safe distance there. They've got 400 people sewing. And like I'd mentioned earlier, there are 1,600 employees. So, and he's hiring more. I'm pretty sure he'll have about eight, uh, 800 to 1,000 sewers by the end of the week because by the end of the week, he wants to go from 10,000 face masks a day to 50,000 face masks a day. And I don't know if they're running them shifts uh, either six or seven days a week, but this guy's working like around the clock so he could get the, his prototype out, up, tested, good to go. And uh, he's also looking at becoming permanent uh, mask maker for the country so that we're not depending on China so much. Now, I think it's very funny. We kicked their butts 40 ways for Sunday in a trade deal last November and December, and they come out with a virus. A virus they knew would be a worldwide epidemic if they didn't control it, which they didn't do on purpose. And they knew that around the world, they make 98, 90, 98%, over 90% of the medicine for the world, including the United States. So now they're going to jack us on prices for our meds that it keeps us alive from the virus that they created. All right? These guys are worse than the guys selling the fake corona kits, test kits. They started this for financial gain. Don't let anybody tell you different. This was a planned attack. Okay? This is germ warfare. Don't get, don't get sidetracked on that. Mike, I appreciate it. The pillow guy, what you're doing. Got a little off track there. Um, yeah, I, I get, I'm going to do a wrap up, uh, up to date. I've got, uh, I've got a program that's been burning in my brain for about a month and a half since the impeachment. I'll probably throw that together when I can get some background music going and a decent, uh, backdrop for that. I'll say I'll get it out by Wednesday. Now, hold me accountable. If you've got any topics that you'd like to go over, I I don't want to get into the bill itself. It's about six, a little over six trillion over a four to six month period. Um, I want to read it. I'm waiting on a copy. It should be here in my email sometime tonight or tomorrow. I don't know how many pages it is, so it could take me a couple days to uh, read and get into. I don't know, and this is the only thing, the reason why I'm reading it is I want to see how many things that had absolutely nothing to do with the coronavirus that the Democrats shoved down our throats holding us up for this deal, okay? To listen to the people that blew off and were so disrespectful on the Senate floor and all they do is encourage us when they act like that, okay? They don't stop it. They don't say quit being a six-year-old. They don't say your time is up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Your time is up, okay? They don't even follow the rules of the House that they're supposed to be regulating. You don't see a Republican doing that, okay? It's only the Democrats that are just ranting and raving like little kids from Congress floor. Are you kidding me? AOC, Soros, you're so stupid, George. In your old age, you picked this idiot to put out there as your puppet. 
Well, I guess maybe that's not stupid, because you can tell her to say anything, and she's just dumb enough to do it. That's AOC. That's a whole couple, two or three podcasts on itself, you know? I like that little meme where it says, can I ask a stupid question? And Trump responds better than anybody I know. Listen, folks, if you like this at all a little bit, hit the like, share, subscribe. If you got anything you'd like to hear about in particular, I'll do some due diligence, dig into it for you. Please put it in the comments below. Um, yeah, we got to get these things tightened up. I'll be a little bit more regular on here. The reason why there's so many different podcasts out is because their news can't be trusted. And if you're still listening to lame stream media, well, I feel sorry for you. You probably won't see this to begin with. Folks, have a blessed day. I am still in Facebook jail. So like, share, subscribe. I'm going to throw this posted to my page anyways. They can't stop me from doing that. It just takes a couple hours because of the upload time to YouTube. Have a very blessed day. This is your week in wrap-up. I probably won't get nothing out tonight. I've been watching the news for the last like 10 hours straight. I'm pretty burned out. Uh, I'll get to the bottom of this thing. I think it's going to be a good bailout. I think we're going to be fine, but I know we need to pray for our president and our country and our doctors, our first responders, our police, our firemen. Lift them up in prayer, folks. They are all being tried and run ragged right now. These are the people that will save our lives. Have a very blessed evening. I'll talk to you. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. Like, share, subscribe.